Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name's Kaylin. I'm 26 and I film a lot of entrepreneurship, lifestyle, and productivity content. Today's video is a little different. It's extra exciting. We're going to be packing and prepping for Cancun. Today is Saturday, April 13th and we leave for our trip on Tuesday. We have a really early flight so we pretty much have today, Sunday, and Monday to get packed and prepped. Also, before we hop into it, I just want to give a big thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I love working with them and I got some really good pieces for the trip, so I'll show you guys that in a second. But I think this is the first time that I'm actually like taking the steps to get prepared early for a trip. Typically, I start my packing process the day before we leave and I always end up forgetting something. I just, it's always very chaotic. But this time I actually want to take my time, start early so that way by the time Monday comes, we can just spend Spend time with the girls kind of relax the plan is for today is to start packing in the clothes because I won't really need any of this before we leave so I already kind of like started laying out some outfits this morning because I figured it would take me a while which it did so I'll show you guys what we have so far we'll start packing all of this up put it in the packing cube start putting it in the suitcase tomorrow will probably be for errands so just going and getting minis and then Monday will pretty much be just for the prep process so I'm gonna go get my nails done and then I'm also gonna self tan so I'm excited I hope you guys are too too. If you guys have been watching the vlogs, I have been ready for this trip for so long. It actually got postponed a month and now that it's finally here, I just cannot wait to be on the beach. Um, I'm also going to be vlogging the entire trip. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But yeah, today the main focus is just on the clothes, packing all of this up into the packing cubes and I'll show you guys what we have so far. I also took pictures in some of the outfits while I was trying them on so I'll insert them on the screen too so you guys can kind of see the vision but I have three linen pants over here. I am like obsessed with linen pants right now. They're so comfy. You can dress them up, dress them down. So we have three colors of these, some shoes. I have a few t-shirts up there. We have a big oversized white linen button up, which would be perfect for the beach or even to wear like for dinner. I have two nicer like dressier shirts for when we dress up a little bit more for dinner. We have some like just like basic tank tops here. I have not worn this set out before since I'm bringing a lot of neutrals. I wanted to add a pop of color so I think that this would look really good just like going to breakfast with a tank top under it and this style of short almost like the sleep shorts but they're not. They're like actual shorts and not pajamas are really in right now so I think this will be perfect just to wear to breakfast or you know just like anywhere casual. Sweatshirts over there. I have all of my swimsuits right here. And then I have gym clothes because we will be going to the gym. The resort that we're going to has a really nice gym, so I'm excited to check that out. A little dress, um, swimsuit cover-up, and the packing cubes and some t-shirts. So this is what I have so far. I haven't packed these yet either, but I got a few pieces from Princess Polly. I'll give you guys a little try-on haul of. Once again, a big thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. I've worked with Princess Polly countless times in the past, and they're just one of my favorite places when it comes to clothing. So Princess Polly actually ships from within the United States, and they offer free standard shipping, which is about three to six days on U.S. orders, $50 or more, and they also offer shop pay and after pay to all U.S. customers. They were also so kind to give me a discount code just for you guys so you guys can use code kaylin20 to get 20% off site-wide at checkout make sure to go check them out use code kaylin20 save some money and get some cute pieces for the upcoming season and of course everything will be linked down below i will also tell you what i'm bringing and what i'm not bringing but most of this stuff will be coming to cancun with me so we are starting off strong with a princess polly swimsuit i've actually never tried their swimwear I was a little hesitant just because I feel like it's so hard to order swimsuits online without trying them on, but I will say that this is probably the most flattering swimsuit that I've ever put on my body. It is very true to size. These are the Georgina bikini bottoms. I got mine in a size 4, which is my true size. Then I got the matching Georgina top, which I actually got mine in a size 2 just because I'm a little smaller chested, and both of these fit me perfectly. I don't really have too many colored swimsuits, but when I saw this one, I was like, I need this, especially for a tropical vacation they are a little bit cheekier this is probably the cheekiest that I would go it is a little cheeky but the tan with gold jewelry I think that this is gonna look really really good especially wearing this down to the pool with these green linen pants I told you guys I'm like really into linen right now I obviously have the neutral colors but I really wanted a pair that was a little bit different so when I saw the olive green ones I was like I need those these are the pants that I wore in the try-on with the bikini and the 
the combo together i'm obsessed with they look so good they're really big and baggy they have a really nice elastic waistband i also really like the detailing on the ties here these are the ogilvy i believe pants and olive and i actually sized down to a u.s size 2 these are definitely coming and these are my favorite linen pants that i own they're so good okay next i got a pair of denim shorts just because Denim shorts are one of those things that they are so hard to find a good pair. These are the Lorena denim shorts. I got mine in a US size 6, so I did size up in these. These are like the perfect length of denim short, which I'm at that age now where I don't want to like be worried about pulling down my shorts. I just want to be comfortable. I want to look cute. I love the distressed raw hem at the bottom. I think it's a nice detail, especially since they are not distressed right here. These are just like a good basic short to have for the spring, for the summer. So definitely bringing these. These. This next set I am definitely bringing. I got a little two-piece set, which two-piece sets are some of my favorites just because they're so easy, especially when it comes to vacations because you don't even have to think about your outfit. It's already put together for you and then you can mix and match it with other pieces that you bring. So this is the pagey set in khaki. I actually sized up to a US size 6 because I wanted it to fit a little bit more oversized, baggier, almost like a loose tank top and cargo pants. This is what the top looks like. It's just a really pretty olive green tank top the straps are adjustable and it does also have a zipper on the side here and then the bottoms are loose almost like cargo pants they are wide leg they have a really nice elastic waistband with a tie it's lightweight it's flowy but it's also still really soft too so I'm probably gonna pair this together on like a day where we go like into the city and like I said this is the pagey set in khaki next I got this really pretty flowy tank top this is like so girly and feminine if you guys know my style this is like what i always wear i always wear big oversized crew necks t-shirts i love like baggy sweaters but this is just like so girly and feminine i think it's so pretty i'm definitely gonna be bringing this i think this would be really pretty with a pair of jeans shorts linen pants to wear to dinner this is the tiny top i believe is how you say it in cream i got mine in a size four i will say that this is definitely made for smaller chest said girls it is pretty snug on my chest it fits me perfectly but i could have sized up to a size six to have a little bit more room this will be really pretty so this is definitely coming to cancun with me last clothing piece i have is this sweater which this is not coming but i have this sweater and a cream and it is one of my favorite sweaters i wear all the time this is the harmony sweater it is just so thick and cozy it's such good quality and i actually sized up even bigger in this one so i got a medium large instead of a small medium it has a really big like balloon sleeves and then it has a really nice cinch at the wrist that way it's kind of like big and baggy but it pulls tight at your wrist for a really cute kind of like loose oversized sleeve this color too you can wear year round it would look really good in the spring with a pair of linen pants one of my favorite pieces that princess polly has i would not be bringing this but i will be wearing this year round here in ohio and and I got one accessory, which when I put these on, you guys, I started laughing because I am not a big sunglass person. I really don't wear sunglasses. I'll wear them on my head. But when I try these on, I'm like, I literally feel like a million dollars. These make you look so expensive. I, I'm just, I love them. Like, I'm not a big sunglass person. But these I will definitely be wearing. They have a really nice cat eye frame. I like how you can't really see my eyes through it. They also look really good on your head too. Some glasses don't sit that great on top of your head, but these look really good. They sit really nicely and I just, I love them. We actually have one more piece I completely forgot to show you guys. That is the sweatshirt that I'm wearing. I'm definitely bringing this. This is my third time wearing this since I've got it. It is just so soft and cozy. I love the Princess Polly font on it. It's just a really good oversized crew neck. I already, once again, I took the tag off of it. So I'll leave the name on the screen right here. I will be bringing this. This actually might be my airport outfit with a pair of black sweats so that is everything in this little haul from princess polly that i got for my trip so once again a big thank you to princess polly for sponsoring this portion of today's video definitely make sure to go check them out i'll have everything linked down below along with my sizing and if you do pick anything up don't forget to use code kaylin20 at checkout to get 20 percent off your purchase site wide but I'm going to go ahead and put everything that I'm taking from this haul in with the clothes that I have set out already and officially start packing the suitcase.
we're taking a little break from packing and actually doing a little bit of prep. I wasn't planning on doing this today, but the girls just ran out of their food. So we're gonna make some homemade dog food really quickly. I've been meaning to show this in a vlog, so I figured now would be a perfect time since we are prepping it for the week while we're gone. I don't know if I mentioned this, but our dogs are actually staying with my parents for the entire week. So if you're new here, we have two dogs, Maya and Zena. Maya is around 10 years old. Zena is around one years old. We rescued both of them and we actually just got Zena in October. And this is our first time leaving her, which Devin and I are like a little nervous because she was actually abandoned twice. And now that she has a, like a loving home, we just don't want her to think like we are just like giving her away or like abandoning her, abandoning her again. So leading up for the trip for the past month, she's actually had two overnights at my parents just to like make sure, you know, she knows them, she feels comfortable there. She doesn't think that like she's getting abandoned. So I think with her being with Maya, which she's eating behind me, so I'm sorry if you can hear that, but hoping though with Maya and Lola, our rabbit there, that she's like a little less anxious and just more comfortable. She also loves my parents dog so I feel like it'll be fine but it's still our first time leaving her it's always hard leaving them regardless like we've gone on plenty of vacations and it's just it's so hard leaving Maya and Lola every time but now with Xena I'm like it's just a little bit harder because of that but anyways we're gonna make them some homemade dog food for the week I'll leave it down below for you guys in a doc as well so you can screenshot it save it if you want to make some homemade dog food I would recommend you make sure that everything works with your dogs you know digestive system that they're not allergic to anything so we're gonna make this for the week. We're gonna meal prep their meals, which is like the bougiest thing ever. morning happy monday like trying not to be overwhelmed right now i pretty much haven't made any packing progress since saturday yesterday we just got all of our travel documents and everything done i also went to target and got some minis which i'll give you guys a haul of in a second but i'm in my bathroom right now i'm gonna try to pack pretty much all of our toiletries contacts i made a packing list so that way i don't forget anything and then i also have a nail appointment today at 11 which we're gonna go to here pretty soon i'm gonna try to get as much packed as possible before then so that way after my nail appointment i can just like focus on double checking everything and not worrying about like actual packing so that's the plan i also never gave you guys a target haul our apartment is also a disaster from packing so we also need to clean, but I'll probably do that later tonight so it's nice and fresh. But we went to Target yesterday and got some minis and just like travel things for the trip. So we have some disinfecting wipes. Would you like to help me show everybody? Huh? Did you want to help me show everybody what we got? I got a waterproof mascara, so I got the L'Oreal Lash Paradise one. But we also got little travel sized um, CeraVe products, so we got the foaming facial cleanser. This is what I use every day to wash my face, so it's nice that they have that in a small one. We have two moisturizing lotions, so that way we don't have to bring our big moisturizer. Wow, okay. Let's see, we have toothpaste. I got a few travel hair products, so I got my hairspray in a travel size, and I also got the hair gel that I used too in a travel size, in case I want to slick my hair there, which I probably will because of the humidity. So you have some hair gel, 
toothbrushes. Oh yeah, and then the last thing that I got, which I've never had one of these before, I'm really excited. I got a disposable camera, which I have seen so many good pictures and reviews from this camera. So I got one at Target. I think this is supposed to be like a good affordable disposable camera. I want to say it was only like 15 or $16. So I'm excited to see how the pictures turn out from this, especially on the beach. But yeah, that's everything that we grabbed at Target yesterday. So I'm also going to add most of this to our toiletry bag. Are you going to be a good girl at Grandma and Grandpa's? Huh? Mommy was telling everybody how I was worried about you and that we're not abandoning you. Mommy and Daddy are just going on vacation. Yeah, we're just going on vacation. And you are probably excited about it. She loves going over to my parents because she knows that she can get away with so much more, huh? I picked up this toiletry bag at Marshall's a few months ago for this trip. It was only... $19.99 which I feel like is a good deal for this. It's Nicole Miller. I loved the brown leather and it's also a good size. Like it holds a lot in here. It has two separate compartments with zippers and both have a decent amount of room. So I'm going to try to fit as much as possible into here. I'm hoping everything besides my makeup will fit into here. debating on getting this. I'm so glad I did. Look at how much stuff this fits in here. This is every hair care, skin care, body care, contacts, every single toiletry that I would need and then some is in here. And this is for Devin and I. And it's so cute. So I'm excited. This did not take me nearly as long as I thought. So toiletries are done, thankfully. I think the last thing, like the last big thing is my makeup, which I can probably pack most of that now. I'm probably not gonna do any makeup today, especially since I need to self tan and my hair is greasy. We're just gonna go all natural today. So I'm gonna pack up as much makeup as I can and then head out for my nail appointment. I have about 20 minutes. We're actually making pretty good progress. home from my nail appointment i also just put on a self tan so i have on my big baggy clothes while it dries down but it is already 5 15 which is like stressing me out just a little bit my nail appointment took longer than i thought i always underestimate the amount of time that it'll actually take so i got my nails and my toes done this is how they look. They look really cute. I got Ballet Pink by D&D, but I ended up going with something just like really simple neutral so that way it kind of matches everything and I think it looks good with the tan. Now it's time to actually pack the suitcase. I've been packing everything individually. Now we're going to put everything into the suitcase to make sure it all fits. I need to make sure I have everything. This is the current situation. It's still... It's a disaster in here, but I'm going to try to get all of this cleaned up pretty quickly. Put everything in the suitcase and then we'll go from there. So let's do it. Suitcase is pretty much packed. I have all of my packing cubes over here and then this side kind of got a little bit messy, but I have some shoes in here. I have two pairs of sandals, some hats. I have my makeup brushes. Um, I brought some supplements. I just put them um, in this plastic bag together, but I have some magnesium. I also got this on Amazon for this trip. This is Bye Bye Blue. I have tried it a few times and it does really work. I have my Lemmy Focus. You guys know I love these. 
And then I also ordered these off Amazon. I haven't tried this greens powder before. I normally like the Amazing Grass, but their travel ones on Amazon weren't gonna be here until tomorrow. And this was the only brand that could be delivered today. So this is the Greens Organics Superfood um, Wild Berry like Greens Powder, just so we can make sure we are getting our greens in still while we're on the trip. So we have our supplements and the vitamins there. We have some sunscreen straightener, uh, Revlon blow dryer, and then all the stuff that you guys told me pack. So I have hair care, skin care, and then my jewelry down there. I think that's pretty much everything that I need. I need to check my packing list, but for the most part, I think we are all packed and ready to go. We did it, you guys. That was a close one. I don't think I can fit like any anything else in there but i think i'm gonna wrap up this pack and prep with me here because pretty much for the rest of the night i'm gonna be cleaning our apartment editing this video i'm gonna wash myself tan off but pretty much all of my actual travel packing and prepping is done so if you guys made it this far thank you so much for watching once again a big thank you to princess polly for sponsoring a portion of today's video and sending me over the cutest pieces for our trip i'm so excited the next vlog that you guys see will be the cancun vlog so make sure you stay tuned for that and i will see you guys very soon in Cancun. Bye guys.